This is a review of Western Digital, my Passport USB portable external hard drive. I have three different colors here, so let's quickly take them out. Each of them comes with a paper info about the hard drive and a short USB cable underneath. The black one that I have here is 4 terabytes, and the red and blue are 2 terabytes. The black one is noticeably thicker for the bigger storage. And this color scheme kind of reminds me of a switch. Taking a quick look around, we have a Western Digital logo on the front. On the back, we have some quick info about the hard drive. I like how they style the casing, and I personally think the color one looks better than the black. Anyways, over on the top, we have a USB port and a status indicator. This is a quick reference for the indicator light. Don't disconnect the disc while it's in activity. Always eject the drive and wait for the light to stop flashing before you disconnect it from the machine. Anyways, this hard drive supports both Windows and Mac. Since I am on Mac, I am going to run the Mac installer. The instructions are pretty straightforward. Once it's installed, head over to Apps, then we'll install W Drive Utilities. Again, just follow the steps and it will walk you through the setup. And once that is done, we can open it. There are a few settings that you can configure here, but I only want to format the disk and use it, so we will head over to Drive Erase. Make sure the format is in HFS plus J for Mac. Check the box for I understand and click Erase Drive. It will take a while to format the disk, but after that is completed, you should be able to open up my passport as a regular directory and it is ready to be used. So I have 15 gigs of data here, and just to quickly note that I am connected to a USB 3.0 port on this USB-C adapter to my MacBook Air. And I'm just gonna do a quick drag and drop to see how long it will take to transfer the files. It says here that it will take about 3 minutes, and I time it to be 2 minutes and 45 seconds to complete the transfer, which I think it is pretty accurate. It is not exactly speedy, but it's good for my use case. Now, it offers other stuff that I don't use with the software, so I'm just gonna uninstall them to keep my MacBook clean. The storage for my MacBook Air is 500 gigs, and I'm almost reaching the limit. I was planning to follow the standard 3 to 1 backup strategy, where you have 3 copies of everything, 2 on the drives and 1 on the cloud. I want to use the red one to store the videos that I have posted on this channel, along with its raw data. Blue will be storing the iMovie projects for those videos. The black one will basically be the backup for both blue and red so that I will have two physical copies. Now, since the cloud storage are not exactly cheap, and all my final videos, which are the only important videos, are already posted on YouTube, I figure this is good enough for now and I won't look for a cloud solution for the raw footage or the iMovie projects. Anyways, that's all for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.